Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. We are now live. Just, just noticing the state of my hair. <laughs> oh my god, it's so frizzy. Anyway, let me know if you are jumping on live with me today. I just wanted to come live again following my soul gifts conversation yesterday and I'm not going to be as long as I was yesterday actually but I just wanted to talk to you about modalities and programs and do you need them question mark let me know what you think I just keep getting a pop-up thing it's coming up saying it's not working properly but I think it is let me know if you are here Let's see if I can see it on my oh yeah it's showing on my phone so it must be working let me know if you are here with me and put a comment underneath or hashtag replay if you're catching this on replay I love to see what everybody thinks I'm going to dive in now because I don't want to keep you too long on this Thursday afternoon. I hope everybody's well. So, modalities and programs, do you need them? Okay, so, maybe controversial again, but I see so many people creating programs and modalities and to be honest, I've been in coaching programs myself where modalities and certifications and things like that are encouraged to be created and sold because they make really good money. That is the truth, right? You know, creating modalities and, cre you know, creating your own modalities and creating your own programs and certifications in particular, they make money. They make people money, right? That is the truth. That is that is what they do, and coaches who um, you know are selling like how to make money with programs, etc. They teach that because it is a good way of making money, right? And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. What my question is is, do you need it? Because what I'm seeing is that programs are really, really good if they're used in a certain way modalities are really really good if they're used in a certain way but frequently and I've done this myself I hold my hand up I have bought programs or modalities because and drum roll because I wasn't enough I wasn't enough I didn't believe that my experience and I have got a shit ton of qualifications already and experience I didn't believe it was enough I didn't believe that my healing skills were enough I didn't believe that what I knew was enough I could see a gap in terms of where I wanted to be and where I actually was and to be honest many times when I invested in programs in the past it was because I was emotional now, if any of you do human design, if any of you have done your human design, I am a solar plexus emotional authority and I don't, you know, I'm not like obsessed with human design, I know some people are, but one thing I have learned from that is that I can be really emotional. I am an emotional person. We talked about being like super sensitive and empathic yesterday. So when I'm feeling lack, when I'm feeling fearful, still happens, I'm not perfect. When I'm feeling like, oh my god, this thing isn't working out as I wanted it to. When I feel like there's a gap between where I want to be and where I am. I can, or I have certainly in the past, I have invested in programs, another program, another certification, another thing in order to make me feel better or in order to try and solve the problem but whenever I've done it from that place it hasn't been the right decision I've ended up feeling regretful about spending the money afterwards I felt oh I didn't actually need that when I tune into my own soul I thought oh you know I did it from a place of emotion from desperation from lack from a lack energy 
a fear energy it wasn't from a love energy it was from a fear energy let me know if you resonate with that anyone so I know that when I'm in that place if I'm ever in that place again it's not a good time to buy it's better just to sit and wait and see whether I still feel like it's a good thing to do in a few days time when I'm in a neutral position and if I am then great go ahead but if you're not then it's a no now and I'm sure if people resonate with this you know all these programs I need another program before I can launch my business I need to do this program before I can launch my business I've got four more so I need to do this program because it sounds really good and I feel like I'm gonna miss out if I don't do it and it's the same with modalities if you're a healer right we feel like we need Reiki or angelic Reiki theta healing RTT all of these various different modalities before we can actually be a healer but the reality is is that you are already a healer everybody is everybody has these gifts and as I was talking about yesterday if you didn't catch that video go and see it everybody has their own unique set of soul gifts templates codings patterns that are unique to them and when you can actually tap into those gifts and you expand into that and activate these gifts you are naturally a healer with these gifts available to you and you can use them to help others of course you may want some practice you may need to practice on like family and friends first before actually going into business with it okay that's fine it builds up confidence but everybody has their own innate gifts there's actually in my view this is my view I know some people don't you know may not resonate with it but the truth is we don't actually need to go and learn somebody else's modalities or somebody else's certifications or skills because that is is theirs that's what their soul was really good at okay so you know the thing with spirituality and that mo and modalities is that there's always a fad there's always a new phase or a new craze and this thing is really cool and everybody's doing this let's jump on this let's jump on that but my question to you is is it good for your soul is it something that you really need to do now I'm not saying don't do any modalities I've done modalities I've done them in the past and they can be really helpful they can be really good in a number of ways sometimes your soul is actually leading you to them for a reason you know your intuition if you're in a neutral place emotionally your intuition may be saying oh my god you've got to go and do this thing I had that I had that when I was doing theta healing I did loads of theta healing courses and I don't do theta healing as such now I do a number of different things around what's intuitive for me I'm guided with my own gifts to do healing my own way but what Theta Healing did was unlock the doors because it helped me to remember who I am. It helped to remind me of what my gifts are and it gave me some structure and a platform to do that. And the more I did that and the more I cleared out the gunk and the shit and the old beliefs and the patterns and the fear and the anxiety and just all of the old trauma the more that I could start to be psychic again the more that I could use my gifts the more that I could feel comfortable being intuitive so the more that my own natural gifts started to come through so we can see there how that modality was really really helpful and my soul was calling me to do that I didn't know why I didn't even know what it was but I saw that it was a thing and somebody I knew was offering it and I asked like when are you offering this next and it was literally like three days later and I was like I'm gonna come over I'm gonna travel I'm gonna find somewhere to stay I'm gonna I know I've got to be on that course I know I've got to do it my soul was telling me that was nothing to do with emotion it was just um, a complete urge and I just had to do it and it's led me to where I am now 
total contrast to some of the other things that I've previously dived into for the wrong reasons. Obviously sometimes as well programs are just bridging bridging a gap in our knowledge. Sometimes they're really really helpful in helping us to understand information um, especially something like online selling or marketing if it's not something that you're super familiar with of course can be really really helpful but when it comes to modalities in particular I just want to just like you know ask this question do you really need it do you really need those modalities is it something that your soul is urging you towards because it's really helpful for you and it's going to help unlock a memory and help remind you who you are or just help you to clear and heal something within you that allows you to then more deeply access your gifts or is it just something that's like the fad it's the trend it's something that you feel like you're going to miss out on or you've just got to do this program because you're really desperate right now in order to like have a win so i'm just going to find a way to do this program to have a win so let me know if any of that resonates let me know if any of that resonates at all um, it's just something that's been coming up for me I've noticed it with some clients they're like oh, I think I've got to go and do this thing sometimes they do sometimes they don't and no doubt many of you will have your own modalities and courses that feel really really good to share and for the right people they are amazing you can get such amazing results um, the other thing is false light modalities that is the other thing that I wanted to touch base on today false light modalities have any of you done a modality or some training of some kind and felt really icky or really bad afterwards because I certainly have there's some that I felt really good with and there's some where I felt like, oh, I'm not sure about this. And I've never used it again afterwards. There is a reason for that. Let me know if that's ever happened to you. There is a reason for that. And it's because sometimes we have these false light modalities. Or modalities, or it might be the people that are running it. Where their energy in some way is compromised. Where they may be under some dark attack or something and so we have this icky energy that just doesn't feel good have you ever had that so what i say with that is to call in when you call in energy make sure it's only a hundred percent pure divine light that you're calling in at this time and you will really really sense the difference in the energy that you're calling in compared to previously again I've done this with clients and the difference in what they're seeing where they're being taken what information they're receiving is unbelievable compared to before I've got to go now so I'm going to leave it there but let me know if any of that resonates and I will see you soon bye for now